Welcome to MicrostrategyBlog.com. My name is Jeremy. Today I'm going to show you how to put a Twitter widget into your uh, a dashboard so that you can monitor maybe your marketing department and you kind of want to monitor how your um, notifications or your updates are received and you want to see that next to some sort of financial data or some sort of other um, business intelligence data that you find important. So we're going to go into my first project, which is a blank project that uh, MicroStrategy has provided. And then we're going to create a document. And we're going to pick the blank dashboard, number one. And I'm going to do a couple of quick changes that are my preferences, things that I don't like. So I don't like this white background. So I'm going to go ahead and change the properties and formatting of that white background. And I'm going to change it to a, uh, a light gray and then I'm going to change my panel background and I'm going to change the fill of that to actually white. So now you have a gray background and a white foreground. All right, And I'm going to insert a, a quick uh, text description of what I'm going to be adding so that it's there. And I'm going to say um, Twitter widget um, monitoring the search term micro strategy okay now on your uh, insert toolbar you notice there's on the toolbar there's your HTML container here or if you hit the down arrow you can also insert an HTML container here so we're going to insert a large HTML container and it gives space for us to put our HTML. We're going to go to Google and just look for Twitter widget. And I know that Twitter supplies their own widgets. And what we're going to do is widgets for my website. We're going to search, do a search widget. And then the search query that we're going to make is MicroStrategy. The title is, we're going to go ahead and leave blank. And the caption will say recent results. Um, the title we're going to leave blank because feasibly, let's say, we would make that in the dashboard. That way we can choose our own fonts and make it look pretty. So the preferences, I'm going to include a scroll bar. And we'll go ahead and have a timed interval. Uh, change that. Let's say change it to load all tweets. And the appearance, I don't like this blue background, so let's go ahead and change that all to white. And as far as the text is concerned, we can change that all to black. Right, so you have something very simple. And the dimensions, I'm going to just say auto width. And I'm going to finish and grab that code. OK, so we're going to copy that code out. And we're going to go back to the dashboard. And we're going to paste that code into the HTML container that we have. And then we're just going to go ahead and go in interactive mode and view that. OK, so now it's loading. And there you go. Here's a MicroStrategy uh, dashboard. And you have your MicroStrategy information that you can scroll down.